Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Has it been a long time? Yes, probably. And the last video that I posted was a Chamberlain coffee tasting. I'm a connoisseur, apparently. If you can hear my fan, I'm sorry, it's hot in here. Um, so I just went to the Chamberlain coffee pop-up at Blank Street Coffee. And I just wanted to try all of these with you. I already tasted this one. I had this one yesterday and this one as well. These two I had yesterday, but we'll talk about them in a second. So I'm gonna try the ones that I haven't tried yet. I got all the flavors that were available. It was super cute. I'll insert some pics, some videos. It was super cute, I loved it. I saw that Emma herself was here, uh, but before it opened, which understandable. And um, super cute, so cute, loved it. They had all the characters all around, which I love because they're so cute. You know, their marketing is always on point, as I always say. I'm always talking about that. I always feel the need to mention it. So no spilling coffee beans today. I guess they're just going to be chill since I don't have to make any of these. This stuff is super nice, though. They were so sweet. They also had shirts that were like Blank Street Coffee, Ex Emma Chamberlain Coffee. And they also had the menu, which I took so I would know which one was what. We'll talk through all of these. I'm going to start with the one that I haven't had yet. Having four coffees in a day is certainly a choice, isn't it? So first, we're going to have the Really Into Strawberries and Matcha. Chamberlain Matcha Latte blended with strawberries and oat. Which I'm assuming it's oat milk. I think. I hope. We'll see. I'm not particularly into matcha. I really don't like matcha. However, I thought this would be a really good opportunity for me to try the Timberland coffee matcha without having to buy the tin, which you know would go to waste if I didn't like it. So I really like strawberries. So cheers. It's good. I like that the strawberry is the kind of the main star here. You can barely taste the matcha. If you like matcha, you'll love this because you can still taste the matcha. It actually tastes really good. Wow. Not too much coffee making me like matcha. You mostly taste the strawberry, probably that's why I like it. But you can still taste the matcha. But even though you can still taste the matcha, it's not overpowering. If you like matcha, you'll like this. I could finish this. But I wouldn't, you know, it's not my drink of choice. But I still like it because they blend it with strawberry, which is a flavor that complements it and kind of, for me, hides it a little bit. The matcha is strong here. Mm. I wonder what that is. It's good. It's it's good. Next, we have the Halloween is Happening, which is the only hot coffee they had available for the pop up, and which is the new Sneaky Bat Pumpkin Hot Brew with whipped cream, which I or I asked them not to add it because you know allergies, graham cracker, and cinnamon, which sounds delicious. So and you know I haven't tried this blend yet because they just launched it and I haven't had the chance to order it because I might be moving soon so I want to be hearing less crap. Thank you. Cheers please. You can taste the pumpkin. Oh wow. Also the cinnamon. This is kind of good. I'm not a pumpkin gal. I'm really more into winter flavors and combinations and whatever then fall 
we've had neither of those things in Puerto Rico. So like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, this is really good. I think the, since they added cinnamon, kind of complements the blend really well. This doesn't even have milk or anything, and I'm just drinking it. I don't drink straight black coffee, so it's so, wow. That's 10 out of 10 for me. Wow, that's really good. That's really unexpected. So it did have, I did, it has graham cracker, like a little sprinkle of powder of graham cracker, the cinnamon, which I can taste, that goes really well with the, I'm not really sure if it's a medium roast or anything, but it's a really strong coffee and I really like it. I feel like the flavors that they use complement it really well. So I'm really looking forward to trying that, making it my own way to see how it goes. So next we have Picky About My Chocolate, which is a shaken iced latte with social dog espresso, which is my favorite blend from Chimelin Coffee. Hazelnut, a hint of chocolate, both my favorite flavors for coffees, and oat milk, which, you know, I'm okay with, right? So I did try this one yesterday. I have to say, I think this one's my favorite. yeah this is just what i love in a coffee um i think it has little bits of either coffee beans or chocolate in it i'm not entirely sure what it is but this one is fantastic i always talk about the social dog blend and how it is my favorite from the uh chamberlain coffee brand so yeah this is just everything i love in a tiny little ice latte so this one's my favorite I did try this one yesterday. This is the I Want Something Nutty, which I think is just so cool that they took the time to name all of these and, you know, have all of, all of the Jimlin Coffee branding. And I just, you know, that I love the marketing of the company. And I just think it's really cool. I love it. I just love that they pay attention to detail and that's what this brand is known for, I think, because it's so cool. So, um, in it well it's known for their coffee but i think there's a lot of attention to detail and everything that they do so that was really well done they also had the mason jars and the tumblers which they had as little like bosses for flowers so cute see attention to detail i loved it i love everything about it it's so cute this one is that i want something nutty which is a blank street cold brew don emma's way which is with almond milk and vanilla which honestly let me taste it again. I was drinking this one on the way here because it was a long walk, okay? I'm usually not an almond milk kind of gal, but I feel like this one doesn't have a, an aftertaste that I don't like. Because usually, they, I don't know, for me, they have like a weird aftertaste. Um, use uh, almond milk. Um, so, you know. I think maybe second place because the hint of vanilla. I think the hint of vanilla is what puts it over the top for me. And yeah, so we have thinking about my chocolate. I want something naughty. Halloween is happening in the matcha, which again, I'm not a matcha gal. But with the strawberry, I feel like I, I can drink that. It's good, it's good. It's just, I really don't like the taste of matcha, but it wasn't overpowering, so I can enjoy that drink, and I really did like it. I love the new pumpkin blend. I wanna try that and do it myself, but I think the adding of the cinnamon was really good, complemented really well. I like the Blank Street cold brew, uh, it was good. I love the hint of vanilla. I think that's what sells it for me. And the almond milk was good. I would have done a little bit more of almond milk, maybe. It was like a bit more. But pretty good, nonetheless. And of course, my favorite. The Picky About My Chocolate one, which is the Social Dog Espresso with hazelnut and chocolate. It has to be the winner for me. I mean, it's literally me in a coffee. Thank you, Emma. Thank you for thinking about me. Sure. You know who I am. You watch my videos. We're besties. Sure. Anyway, this is so fantastic. I'm really sad. Oh, I think that is the chocolate bit. 
I'm really sad that I'm not gonna get to taste this um, again because uh, today was the last day of the pop-up shop I did go yesterday and I had this one in the MS cold brew I mean blank street blank street I want to say blank space sorry blank street <laughs> done Emma's way so I had those two yesterday so I picked this one up again and that one because I did like them very much and I said let me try them I literally have made so many videos trying Chamberlain coffee because I like it that much I did intend to post another video before this but I haven't filmed that one <laughs> oopsie um again I'm in the process of moving so fun not really and uh yeah just so generally looking for a will to live so you know that's so I think that's gonna be it for me today. This was really fun to go to. I loved how they decorated the place and uh, how they had like a little photo up and everything. I think everything was really well done. They had the little menu. I think the, yeah, the prices and everything. So really well thought out, really on brand, really cool, really cute. A lot of attention to detail. I love the little glosses, the little tumblers as glosses. So I just thought it was really well done and I really enjoyed it. And if you didn't get to go, at least you experienced it with me, question mark. I, I feel so bad because I know how it feels because I grew up in Puerto Rico and I could never be part of anything related to my fandoms or anything. So I feel you. It'll be your turn soon, bestie. I know it. So at least you got to live vicariously through me, hopefully. And, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Until then.